Those of you who have been with us for a couple of months now know that we have the Zion Crane 2 gimbal. And since then, I have bought the Z, the Z axis, fourth axis handlebar set for it. And I'm uh, going to be doing a review on that here before long. But as I got used to using the Crane 2, I started to notice some, some other features that I was really impressed with. And the automation from the Zyplate app that you can download on your phone for free and utilize with it, it syncs up Bluetooth, you can actually set up waypoints and automate the gimbal itself to go to each one of these waypoints and record some very smooth cinematographic material and it serves very much like a slider or a hand carried gimbal or something else to stabilize your footage and then with, uh, you don't even need to use warp stabilizer in Adobe Premiere, this thing is pretty good. So I took the time to create a small demonstration for you. So for those of you joining the channel today, I welcome you and I invite you to subscribe, hit that like button, hit that notification bell, and look for other material which pertains to computer setups, computer gaming, camera gear, photography, videography, and YouTube studio. So if you're interested in those sorts of things, you're in the right place, and I'll try not to let you down. Back to the main topic, let's see what this baby can do. So first off, you wanna make sure that you put your crane in the lock mode, or else it will not work. Then, after you open your Zyplay app, then you will sync it up via Bluetooth. Once you're connected, then you go to the time-lapse portion, Then you will find your first location and then you will add it. Then move your camera to the desired location, whatever works best for you. And then pick your second waypoint. And then you'll continue to do this until you have all of your waypoints set and you're happy with what the production is going to look like. Once you're all set, you hit your start button, get out of the way and let it do its thing. Now that I've shown you a little bit of what the Zyplay app can do, I've taken 30 seconds of me just sitting here at my desk editing a video and added some color grading and did the cinemagraphic movements with the smooth movement of the actual gimbal. And when you're editing your videos and you're making your videos, the smooth movement and the proper color grading can make the difference of a successful YouTube channel and one not so successful. Yes, I'm very new at this and I'm progressively getting better and I'm learning. However, this is part of the process and I invite you to go along with me on this journey.
So as you can tell, this thing opens up a whole new world of opportunities. Whether you're an amateur or a professional, whether you have somebody with you or you're alone, this thing is so versatile that it can create some very smooth cinemagraphic material for you and let you automate it and create pretty much anything that you want in your creative mind. I've gone to the internet and I've watched YouTube videos and many people only show the gimbal's ability to record smooth footage, which is basically and primarily what it was designed for, but the automation is just that much more intriguing to someone, say like me, who's new at this and wants to experiment with the different types of cinematographic material. And yes, gimbals are wonderful for walking, running, maneuvering over obstacles, and so on and so forth, which is why you watch most of the videos, that's what everybody's primarily doing. So when I noticed that there were very few, I think I found one video on movement of an actual gimbal via automation and the Zyplay app, I was very intrigued and inspired to create this video for you. So if someone like me can figure out how to do this, then I know you can as well. And if you haven't thought about using the automation system, then by all means, experiment with it and shoot me a link and let me see some of the material that you've created via this automation. So again, thanks for watching. I spent a lot of time editing and making sure that this video was of good quality and interesting for you. And I don't need to tell you what else needs to happen. All right, talk to you later. Go now. Get out of here.